Hey there, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com. Next up, we're going to take a software tour of the Samsung Focus S on AT&T. <laughs> So first off, in this software tour, I'm going to show you kind of all the customizations that AT&T and Samsung have done to this uh, Focus S. Now, it's got Windows Phone Mango, uh, Windows Phone 7.5, and there's a lot of new features in that, so if you're not familiar with all of them, be sure to check out our Windows Phone 7.5 review for all the details on that. So. In addition to the customizations and bundled apps, we're also going to look at the camera and what was customized there, and maybe a speed test with uh, one of the games. So let's check it out. Here's our default screen. We have AT&T UVerse Mobile. Uh, that's for uh, UVerse subscribers, so we can open that. And we have our, our default tiles are all laid out here: pictures, music. Down here we have AT&T Navigator, that's your GPS navigation program. AT&T Radio for some streaming music. And here we have a Samson app called Now. Let's check this one out. And we're loading, and it launches, launches pretty quickly. Now let's... the uh, panning is really smooth. So here you have your weather. Oh, it's updating something. Weather looks pretty good. There's your news, and that scrolls really nicely. So we can read something there. And it's just going to load the article kind of in a web page. And there's your stocks and your options, your other sections and your settings. So some cool stuff. And we have live tile option. So this is new for uh, Mango. We can add secondary tiles for news and top tweets. So that's uh, pretty cool. If I go back, I've already pinned those down here. So there's your top news and your top tweets. Those are from the Samson Daily Briefing app. And you see they flip around. Show you a little preview of uh, something going on there. So that's pretty cool. Now this uh, Focus S has a front-facing camera. So we can finally use uh, video calling. So that's uh, what Tango is here for, but it does not come bundled with the device. So you're going to have to download that separately. It's currently the only uh, video calling app available for Windows Phone 7. But we know there are more to come. So let's see what else we've got. we got a bunch of AT&T apps. Family Map, My Wireless, that's, that's a good one to keep on there for checking out your account, uh, you know, the balance, how many minutes you're using, that kind of thing. But if you don't use any of these other things, all you have to do is tap and hold and uninstall. And right away it'll be gone. So, even though people complain about bloatware, it's very easy to get rid of them. So, we have more Samsung apps. I'll show you a few of those. We have Fun Shot. Let's see. We'll do a Bulge. So we got to have our camera going. Can you see that? There we go. So that's the uh, weird effects going on the camera. So I'll save that. And there's my bulging picture. And I can share it there. Let's look at settings. We can also share it to Facebook Photo Bucket Picasso. So there's something fun <laughs> with the camera. We also have, where are we? Photo Studio. Samson is uh, big on the picture apps. So here's some different things we can do. And it goes into the camera. So that's going to do some effects there. 
There you can see that. So there's some fun effects to play with. You can also edit pictures that you already took. And we have options for auto levels. So there's our uh, maybe not. And brightness. That's a little too much. Color adjustments with RGB sliders. Rotation, if you want to flip it. And cropping. So those are good good picture tools to have. There's also Photogram, more, more uh, picture editing programs. I'm going to show you the marketplace because this has some unique things that are only going to be available either on AT&T or Samsung. So if you have a Samsung phone, you're going to get Samsung Zone. And these are some apps that are going to be only available to you as a Samsung customer. There's a Rubik's Cube game. A few other photo-related apps. And if you're an ATT customer, you also have all these ATT apps that you get just for you. All right, next, Samson has done some cool uh, customizations in the settings. So all the way down here, we have high fidelity position. This is kind of going to help with your GPS. We have SIM applications. I don't have any SIM applications, but that's where they would be. And we have extra setting. It's kind of a weird name for a setting. Call it extra setting. <laughs> but let's see what's in there. Here we have auto display intensity. So if you set your background to white and have this on, it's going to really lower the intensity to save battery life. And we also have a uh, Vibration feedback, I could shut that off if I don't want to haptic feedback on the buttons. And we have echo cancellation. So those are pr pretty good options. Let me show you uh, the white theme and how that setting affects it. So it's, you saw that difference there with automatic brightness off. Now this seems to be doing automatic brightness. Anyway, that's there. <laughs> and those are our extra settings. But we also have camera. Now, this is an 8 megapixel camera with a flash. And we have the front facing camera switch right there. And we have settings. What do we have for settings? Let's see if I can tilt it. There we go. Autofocus mode, you got macro switch. So you gotta switch to macro if you want to take close-ups. White balance automatic. There's your save settings button, don't forget about that. We have image effects. Kind of filters. Not sure I'd want to use those while taking a picture, but those are there. Contrast adjustments, saturation is good. Sharpness controls, uh, exposure value compensation. So if you're always, if you want to take kind of underexposed pictures, maybe your highlights are getting blown out, we can turn down the exposure. ISO settings. This is for your light sensitivity controls. Metering. We can do matrix center weighted or spot. Matrix does like the whole frame. Center weighted is obviously just the middle and spot is going to do the metering based on your focus point. Hopefully. <laughs> and there's your quality. So that's the JPEG compression levels. And here's a good one. Wide dynamic range. So that's going to be similar to the wide dynamic range feature on the iPhone. It's going to get a lot more detail in the highlights and the shadows. So you're not going to have really, really dark shadows and really, really bright highlights. It's going to kind of balance them a little more. There's your photo resolution options and, of course, anti-shaking, which doesn't really 
do a whole lot. It's not like a vibration reduction with the lens. It's just kind of increasing the sensitivity so that the lens can take pictures quicker with less light. So there you have it. No uh, special features like you saw in HTC with the panoramic or the burst shot options. We don't have any of that here. Okay, next, let's see if we can try out that 1.4 gigahertz processor. You're probably looking at this and saying, this is pretty, pretty much the same as the first generation Windows phones. Everything is real quick. Everything was real quick on the old ones. Let's get a little comparison where you're going to see the speed increases the most. Uh, let's see. How about a slow game like Connectimals? So we're launching both of these at the same time. See the Focus S is already uh, well ahead. And this even has a trial so it should be uh, bringing up some dialogues. So already this is ready to play. And this one is just finally starting. So, I can play that one. And this one's loading my character. And we'll see which one's quick. Um, that one's already done. We're already going. And this one's finally there. Maybe I should put these uh, like so. <laughs> and switching him to trick mode. It's a, a lot of loading screens. So you'll notice. Here we can jump. There we go. Notice this uh, Focus S is actually a lot faster. But you'll mostly only notice it in things like games and whatnot. Alright. So that's our software tour of the uh, Samsung Focus, now on AT&T. Lots of cool things. Uh, some bundled software you might want to remove. But, uh, Windows Phone Mango and it's running really, really smooth. If you're not up to speed on all the new features in Windows Phone Mango, be sure to check out our Windows Phone 7.5 review. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did, and that's it for now.